Hello my friends, Bruce here. Well, this is one of my trade-ins. Uh, it's the best of the worst, if that makes any sense. So, I've always said that every lawnmower has three things wrong with it. I haven't even looked at this one, I haven't even pulled the pulled the uh, rope on it or anything. But look at this, you guys. It's made for me. It's got the rope pull on the on the left side. Oh, it turns over. So that's not a, that's not a defect. But if we tilt this up, come on. we're gonna put it on the lift in two shakes. But the carburetor has been taken apart, okay? So that's one. The blade's on upside down. That's two. Sorry, I'm being a little rough with it, but there's one hand, right? And let's see if it has any oil. Let's find number three before we even get going. Crossing from you, sorry. Let's just see if it's got lubrication for the nation. This is actually going to be a nice long one when, it's, when and if it's fixed. Yeah, well, it's definitely up with the threads, eh? Right now it's got two things wrong with it. I'm going to turn it around again. I'm going to squirt some go juice into the carburetor. Oh, it's got an old foam top. Look at that, eh? There we go. Jeez, it's in pretty good shape, too. I think it's been sitting a very long time. That's the carburetor right there. So we'll push the juice up and then we'll turn the juice over into the intake manifold. And that should be enough. If everything goes up and down and round and round, it should be enough for us to see. Pull back you up so you don't get hurt. You should see some smoke and fire. Bow, chicka, wow, wow. So that's going to make a nice lawnmower with the bag and the red. The rabbit in red. And uh, so let's get it on the... Let's get it on the... Uh, do, 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 lift. And we'll go from there. Usually these things, the springs are broken. It's not, eh? Look at that. For our mulching friends. Let's have a look in the grass thing. Oh, I... Absolutely pristine. I might just, when I have the uh, carburetor off, I might just uh, run a tiny bit of gas through there. All right, step one. Let's have a look at the spark plug. I had it to Cumsey. This is without a word of a lie, my friends. I had it to Cumsey for 26 or 27 years, and I never changed the spark plug. Does that make me a bad mechanic, or does that make me a good mechanic? Neither. Okay, spark plug. Oh, not very tight. That's a good sign. Now it's just got a tiny bit of moisture on it from that from that uh, Champion RJ19LM. That's the standard go-to plug. Well, now that I've got it out, I'm going to clean it, and then we're going to start working on that carburetor. Boy. Okay, the spark plug is perfect. I had to regap it, it was a little tight, 30 thousandths, and uh, it measures 20 thousandths from end to tip, which just means it's got a resistor in it, 
which is the RJ19LM. I'm putting it back in and I'm not taking it out yet. The tune up begins. Okay, I'm going to take this carburetor off. You guys are going to come over to the bench with me. And I'm actually seriously considering changing the entire carburetor because it's just been sitting out to the atmosphere probably for five years. Remember the blade's upside down, we can't ship it up like that. So the, the guy who traded it in gave me this. The bowl seal, which would have been good, but it's it's hard and crunchy. And the bowl, the bowl itself. Sometimes they get uh, holes in them. So anyway, that's step one. We'll do step two in a bit. Are you ready? I better get that muffler off of there too. It's customary. It's a custom made by Mary. These old Tecumsehs were loud because that's not much of a muffler, right? Eh? I'm going to use my little brass hammer because I just do. That's what I got it for. I tore the gasket. Oh! <laughs> I'm going to show you something. Three things are wrong with every mower, right? Let me just blow some of this gush out of here. These are the uh, rods that run the carburetor. But look, the gas line pulled right out of the, uh, pulled right out, right there, of the carburetor, right there. There, to there. And I'm not trusting about this one, but the steady arm is on the bottom of the, uh, the steady arm is on the bottom hole, I'm not sure about that. But it, it, there is a there is a there is a governor on it. So I think this carburetor could be toast. I don't even really want to mix the goo in there and re-glue that in. Cool, eh? So three things are wrong now. As far as I can tell. Oh yeah, he's got this in backwards. How in the heck did he do that? Look at that. He's got that bar in there from the uh, throttle in backwards from the back, right there. So that's the Zuba that fits right into the carburetor. And the gas line goes on it. So let's see, it goes on like that. Back to the tank. So I'm already not trusting it. I'll get some numbers off it. Maybe I can match it up with something I've got. Over and out for a few minutes. All right. Let's start with some carburetors. The one that came off the uh, machine is a 1604. Letters are behind it. This is a 1604. And it looks uh, pretty darn close. If you look, there's the hole for the unused uh, idle. And there's the hole for the unused idle. Uh, it's got a straight pipe coming out for the uh, for the uh, intake manifold versus 
a drop intake manifold, right? You see the drop on that one? So that, this, this is starting to line up as our captain here. I got a weird one in here. Gift from Mix Mowers. 9001. So I've got 1, 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 whole carburetors, and then probably another 6 to 10 parted out. But I think this is our candidate right here. It's got a fairly new primer bulb. It's got the wrong base on it. We'll take that off right now. And we're going to test it with Ken's the gift I got from Ken's Small Engines. I can sort this a little better now. Maybe. Uh, this might work. So all I'm going to do here is to see if this guy will hold six pounds or so. There we go. Are you guys into this? Well, could be. Oh, it's leaking from here. Hmm. I might not be able to use that. Okay, let's go to the plan B on that. It's not very long. It'll work. Right. Okay, now we'll see if it holds in the air. Still not holding that well. If I hold it with my hand, I should be able to pump it right up, right? Nope. Let's make sure we're not losing pressure on the tester. I wonder if I am leaking somewhere here. Yep, there it is. I'm leaking on right there, guys, on the inlet to the gas. Just like that other one that came off, eh? So, without disconnecting everything, I'm just going to squeeze this together with a vise. You see right here? Yes, you can. Got to be careful. I don't want to pinch anything that's not pinchable. We'll see if that helps. Let's close this so I don't bonk an elbow on it. I tell you, I don't know what I would have done without this tester. There's one piece of um, equipment, test equipment, that I have not gotten, and that is a uh, leak down device tester. Still leaking by there? Yes, it is. Well, that's too bad. That's a bad spot for a leak. Okay, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. i got to think about this. Okay, we have one that's holding at five. Right there, five pounds. So let's carry on with our replacement. I like to shoot the air out of this when I'm done. It keeps the uh, keeps the pump from getting contaminated. Okay, so I think we got a winner here. This is a very very nice gasket too. By the way, can you use that too? I think this carburetor was rebuilt in the recent past half century. Or so. Seals on there good. That seal looks really nice actually. 
And this is it, you know, Tecumseh went out of business. 2008, what was that? That doesn't fit on there very good. I guess it will. Let me try it. 2008? So, what? 12, 15 years ago they went out of business? So that means that every single company that you see is at least 15, probably 20 years old. Okay, that little hole right there is very important. I can see through it. I can see. I can see. Okay, we might have a viable carburetor here. Now I'm going to take this off. We need a quarter inch ratchet. So we're going to take this off. We might have to use the rattle gun. about that. Let's take this off here. I'm going to take this off anyway. Huh. Same hole. Well, it's probably got a rubber hose on it. Let's get that. I'm just going to use it. Good. Okay, I just need a, an intake gasket and we can put this back together. I'm going to clean it up a little too. So, I cut a new intake manifold gasket. Going this way. There we go. Perfecta Mundo Girdler Rooney. And this goes on like that. So I've threaded the gasket on. I'll just feed it in a little bit better. And now we're going to connect up the spring of runers. So in my experience, like there's been quite a bit of Tecumseh experience, uh, I'm going to put on the gas. Yeah, the, the gas pipe is fair, but it'll do. Now watch, it's going to leak on me, right? Ooh, a la pliers, a civil play, a. Eh? That's Canadian French. Here they are. Something's fighting me. Okay, so I got the, the little levers connected up there. Can you see that? By, yes you can, right there. There we go. There are the solid rods on the top hole. I've always done it that way. And we'll see how it goes. Oh, darn it. It's that bottom one that drives everybody crazy, including me. There. Okay. Got it. It all has to kind of move before you stick it together, eh? Oh yeah. So that sticks in there. And I bet you I broke my linkages off now. I guess this is why the my British friends don't want the Kumsi. I'm gonna use a regular screwdriver on that. That's because I don't trust it.
Ooh, stiff all the way, eh? Now, do we have a throttle? Almost, eh? That thick gas line's in the way. Yep, I'm just going to tweak it. That's my problem. Oh, just one more tweak. Not touching anything. Okay. Good. Muffler. Seven sixteenths. Let's get this muffler on here. Tecumseys, these fall off to on the inside of the gas cap. The gas cap. They're big. Oh, me. I'll be right back. I have to find it. I'm not going to cheat on you. Alright. Let's just see. Some fresh gas. Six slurps. When this is partially, like when it's half full, the glorps are bigger. They're still calibrated though. Now, hopefully we won't see any leaking. How long does it take the gas to get down to the carburetor? Not that long, eh? Whoops, excuse me guys, sorry about that. Blech. So now this has got a left handy anchor. Do you think it's good? I'm going to go all the way down with it. There, full action shot. Whoa, what happened there? <laughs> that sounded quite bad. On the gas cap. It's no good anyway because it hasn't got the little dingle hunger. Good thing it didn't start. what we did there today guys came in the carburetor was toast uh, it wouldn't test to three pounds so I changed out a carburetor as close as I could find with it with the same intake manifold um, gas line was corroded the blade is still upside down by the way cleaned the plug uh, quite a bit of work redoing that carburetor. I had to look to to, per, to the third carburetor. Well, one was the one that was on it, two was the one that was leaky, and three was this one, and it holds the five pounds. And uh, now I'm going to just tighten the string up, the spring up on the uh, governor, and we'll see if we can get a few more RPMs out of it now. Hang on. All I gotta do is turn that blade over and give it an oil change. The filter looks really good. The uh, air filter. It's a little dry, but it's fine. And uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna wash that right now as we speak, and then I don't have to come back and do the air filter. 
I might even spin the blade, but I'll have to sharpen it. So I'm going to finish it up tomorrow, guys. But we are there, baby. Well, this is the big test. This one's been sitting overnight. I put a new, I put a new carburetor on it. Cleaned the air filter. Uh, put a, uh, cleaned the spark plug. Rinsed out the gas tank. Now the only thing wrong with it now is the blade is still upside down and it needs an oil change. So that should be easy. I'm just going to warm it up for a little bit. Let's give it five pumps. One, two, three, four, five. If that does it, after sitting overnight, that should be good, right? I don't know if you noticed, but because the blade's upside down, the wind is all going down, and it's not filling the bag with air. So when we're done, we'll have a comparison, eh? Now, let's get the oil out of that bad boy. Where's my jack, jack? So, look at, oh yeah, I wanted to show you this. Come and see here. So this blade is on upside down. Number one, first you see the wing is facing down. Oh, let's get some light. Use the light, Bruce. Right there, do you see the wing right there is facing down? And now, what people do is they see this flange, flange right there, and they think that should go around the adapter, and it's not supposed to happen. That blade is on upside down. And that's probably why the lawnmower was abandoned, right? Just take that off in front of you like that. Check the blade. You know, it's pretty good. I'm just gonna buff it up on the on the wire wheel and then we'll change. Oh, we gotta get the oil changed out of this bad boy too. Right. Now we're we're draining oil right now. So on these, I just give them a little tug with my ratchet to make sure that the next quarter saw that works on these can tighten it up and loosen it. Oh that's good. Perfect. Ugh. Okay, let's put some oil in this dog. Now, this is not a Cadillac lawnmower, this is a Chevrolet lawnmower. In fact, I've often compared Tecumseh to, to Chevrolet because of their engineering where you can take one fuel pump like off of a 350 from 1961 and you can stick it on a 350 from 1988. That's what Tecumseh's like. Before the blade never filled the bag, right? So now the bag should puff out nicely. With the oil in it, the blade's turned over, it's sharp. It's a nice mower actually. You got her, Cotter. You guessed her, Chester. That's it. <laughs> 